Hello, welcome back. We're going to check on our sharks to see which one got bigger. The one in the salt water or the one in the water without salt. So yesterday, if you remember, we put two polymer plastic sharks in water. One with salt water and one with water without salt. Now we're going to go ahead and check on them. I predicted yesterday the shark that was in the salt water was going to get bigger. You wrote a prediction in your journal about which shark you thought was going to get bigger. So let's very carefully take the lids off of our sharks, making sure not to spill any water. And looking at them, it's very hard to tell. They look about the same to me as they did yesterday. I have a new shark in a package. Let's look and compare. Mm, they look about the same size. Yesterday, I used my scale to measure the sharks and they were both 20 grams. Let's measure them again today to see if they've changed. I don't want to spill any water, so I'm going to use my tongs to get the shark out, shake it off a little bit before I put it on my scale. So first we're gonna do the shark that was in the salt water and I wanna make sure I get a real good handle on my shark. Shake off that excess water. And now I'm going to put the shark on the scale. I made sure that it's set to zero. And the shark that was in the salt water is now, oh, it looks like it's 25 grams. So now that the scale has settled, it says it's 25 grams. Hmm, so my shark got bigger. It was 20 grams, and now it's 25 grams. So let's measure our shark that is in the water without any salt. Again, I'm gonna get my tongs. I'm going to shake off my shark and my scale is back at zero. I'm going to place my shark on my scale and again I'm going to wait so it can settle. Now this shark is showing that it's 26 grams. This shark also got bigger. It went from 20 to 26 grams. All right, so the shark that was in the water with salt started at 20 grams. And then we added something to it. And we got 25 grams. So I'm going to say that we started with 20. So I'm going to draw 20 here. There's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I know 20 is two groups of 10. So I'm going to make another 10. So I have 10, 20. But then I added something to it. So I'm going to count on to see how much more I need to get to 25. So here I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more. So the shark in the water with the salt grew 5 grams. Okay, so for our shark that was in the water without any salt in it, we started also at 20 grams. We added something to it, and we got 26 grams today. So on the first day, we had 20, so I'm going to go ahead and make 20 again. And I know that 20 is two groups of 10, so I'm going to make one group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Then I'm going to make another group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all together, this is 20. I have 10, 20. Let's count that again just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I added something else to it, so I'm going to make another 10 frame so I can figure out how much more I added on. And now I'm going to just count on. So this was 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So how much more did I add on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our shark that was in the water without salt grew 6 grams. If I compare that, the shark that was in the water with salt only grew five grams. So my prediction from the first day was wrong. The one in the salt water grew less than the one without salt water. Hmm, that might make me change my prediction for tomorrow. So in your notebook, make a prediction. Which shark will grow more? The shark in the water without salt or the shark in the water with salt.